Welcome Stefania, Stefania Puglia from the Gentleman's Square. Stefania and I had met recently and we had a chat about uh, her coaching in the area of love and men's relationships and I thought she would just be so wonderful to have on our uh, program here. So welcome Stefania, tell us all about it. Hello Fred, how are you? Thank you for having me on your show. Yes, well what, what can I say? I coach men <laughs> in the area of uh, love and relationships, yes, and I started coaching or I decided to work with men after working with women, actually. I, uh, my first profession was a hairstylist and I worked in a salon and as most people would know, particularly women, you know, your hairstylist is your best confidant <laughs> to talk to and share um, issues, problems, secrets, whatever. We used to hear it all in the salon. And of course, uh, as a stylist, I worked with both men and women. But of course, the, the women would come to me and really, you know, share and um, talk about their relationships and how he just didn't understand and how he just was so you know, emotionally unavailable and what am I going to do and I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> and, you know, as stylists, we're, we're like, I guess, psychologists in a way, but we just don't give advice. We would just make them feel good by styling their hair. And the men, you know, I did style men's hair, but the men weren't so much open with the, you know, chit-chat. They would more uh, want to get advice right so that's you know what do you think i should do or what do you think she's thinking inside of trading exactly exactly and then from my hairdressing i moved on to be a personal trainer and it was when i you know qualified in being a personal trainer i really decided you know i need to be doing some coaching here because a lot of the the issues around their you know physical state also needed you know a higher level um, I guess to deal with their mental state because again the women would come to me you know particularly after their their session you know you have a little bit of wind down or in the stretching process and again they would start talking and sharing their relationship issues you know, men don't understand, he just doesn't get me, or he gives me the silent treatment, he's just, never, he can't communicate, all that. <laughs> and it was like I was rehearing it all again, but in a different environment. And the men, they would come to me and, you know, really not share their problems, because men are not, you know, open like women, and they don't come to you and want their problems fixed they would come to me and say, you know, um, what do you think I should do, Stefania? Like, I've done this, but there's no response. Or I just don't know what she's thinking. What do you think she's thinking? Do you think you give me some, you're a woman, how would she, what, what is she thinking at the moment? So, and it was when I was getting this happening all the time that uh, I decided, you know, I am going to help my dear brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be helping them from the perspective of uh, helping them understand female energy. You know, we're not easy. I, I admit to that. Female energy is a little bit complicated to understand. You know, we're, our hormones are always up and down. We, we say things that we want men to read between the lines, like, we say no, but we really mean yes. And of course we do. We confuse the hell out of men. <laughs> so I help men understand that part, but also, you know, help them in other areas, obviously. So yeah, that's that's what I do and, and why I came about, you know, coaching men. And I, I, I come, I come from a female perspective, right? And it's not like I've got nothing against male-to-male -male therapy. I think that's fabulous and it's great and it's needed. But when you're dealing with a woman, what better person than to come to really a woman and get her perspective? Because I know when, you know, I have, well, when I've had 
male <laughs> relationship issues, I would always go to a man for advice to see how a man, you know, generally thinks or what, what could he be thinking? What, what's his motive? And, you know, men are really upfront. Well, most, most of my friends that are men that they'll tell me how it is. And that's exactly what I do. I, I, I get real and I get raw <laughs> and yeah, I, I kick butts if I have to nicely. <laughs> It's, um, it's evident that when we come to somebody for advice or help or whatever, we've exhausted the possibilities within our own mind. So we're stuck. Mm. And the beautiful thing is that if that is your profession and people can come to you, they know they're coming to a safe place or somebody who's going to have more answers than, say, somebody they drink with down the pub. So it, it's really great that you can offer men this sort of advice. So um, I guess when you start helping men and they come to you, that you've heard a lot of these problems and challenges before and there's a lot of common patterns to behaviour or limited mindsets or ignorance or whatever the case may be is, is is that the case absolutely and also it depends you know what they've gone through in past relationships as well you know as we move through life we're experiencing all different things so uh, a lot of times we're not taught how to let go of baggage unfortunately so we you know may sometimes go in and out of relationships carrying what we, you know, what happened in the past relationship and we bring it into this relationship and that may not work. So then we move on to another relationship and bring that plus that plus that into that relationship. And we often wonder why, why is, why am I attracting these type of people? What's happening? What it's, they're all the same. <laughs> I get women are all the same or women are all gold diggers, or women are, you know, just after one thing. Yeah, I, I, I guess for me, the more I hear you talk, um, the more I realise I can see I've behaved and conformed to certain patterns in my life that started very early. And it wasn't until later I, um, I started to really strongly look in the mirror to evaluate my responsibilities in all my relationships with men and women, with employers, with family, with friends. And I started out in the uh, area of personal development because I, I felt I needed to grow. So I guess therapy or counselling or coaching would include personal development in the areas of character, mindset, behaviour, hygiene, and, and a whole lot of qualities that it actually takes for a man to be a good catch. So I guess your coaching is about cleaning up the past before you move into a better future. Is that assumption correct? Yeah, absolutely. And taking responsibility too. A lot of the times we don't take responsibility for, you know, our own actions or what's happened. And it's, it's very easy for us to just point fingers. And when that's, you know, kind of, brought to you in a way that you know helps you think oh wow you know and obviously you know through coaching as you know and you you're a coach and it it has to come to light because unless that has you know that's been cleared and you have a nice clean slate to start with you got you haven't got a very good foundation to start building on and your relate your self relationship is the first and foremost important relationship you must. I love what you just said about responsibility. I've often said uh, to women who are confused about the behaviour of the men, I've said, what's the difference between a man and a boy? And they go, oh, I don't know. And I say, well, a man says, I am responsible. A boy says, it's not my fault. Mm, exactly, exactly. It's about blame. It's about not taking responsibility. That's immaturity. And I think... Um, to have a good quality relationship, and these are only my thoughts, you know, my, my imaginations, that if you bring to the table some wisdom and maturity, you've got a better chance 
of having a nicer relationship than bringing immaturity and tantrums and irresponsibility because it's just going to play out and it's going to attract somebody of the same mode and it's going to escalate problems and conflicts. Absolutely. And I, I just want to add to that, Fred, um, when you said you go into attract, okay, because that's a really valid point you brought up there because we do attract what we reflect, okay? So we're like mirrors to each other. And I, what is really important to understand is we're energy and whatever we're vibrating as energy, whatever we're putting out there, whatever our thoughts are, we're vibrating it out to the universe to other people and we attract exactly how we feel what we're thinking so if we're attracting a certain type of you know personality type in our lives consistently and you're not liking what you're attracting it's time we look at ourselves and see okay what needs to change in me so I don't you know continue attracting this type of person in my life so absolutely <laughs> so that that's that's really something that sometimes can be a, a very hard pill to swallow because we have to then look at ourselves again and again taking responsibility because it's well it wasn't me i i didn't want that type of woman in my life i didn't want that type of man in my life well <laughs> again we are you know attracting what we're, we're putting out there whether it be you know, vibrationally, energetically, thoughts, words, all that. So careful what you're thinking and careful what you're uh, saying. <laughs> well, I, I guess the conclusions for me, because I've done a lot of research for my own benefit in this area, not so much to be a coach and give people advice. I need to take my own advice first and get myself sorted. And I guess I find... You do attract what you are and anything that you don't understand is the reciprocation of your thoughts. So when you communicate something and somebody responds in a certain way, it's the meaning of your communication. It may not be the words you said, it could be your body language or your tonality. So you are always emanating your essence. Mm. And if your essence isn't reflected back to you nicely, then you have to take some responsibility in that causation. And I think we um, were talking earlier about boundaries. Mm. And I realised I wrote a book called The Keys to Happiness and Self-Love because I had a revelation it's about self-love. If you don't love yourself, love isn't coming your way because you're emanating the wrong vibration. So I come up with... If you truly, truly love yourself, the right walls will come down and the right boundaries will come up. Yes. Very well said. Perfect. Thank you. And where I'm coming from at this point in time is absolute respect and admiration for people like you that will step out and put your life direction, your energy and your resources in helping men and women, because anything you do for a man, you're actually doing for the woman. So you're saying, I got you. I'm in your corner, but I've got to go over and work with him. <laughs> exactly. yeah. And, you know, it's really funny. I do have a lot of women that send their men to me. Absolutely. I can see yeah. that. I, um, I, it happens like, oh, you've got to talk to my husband or you've got to talk. No, I'm sending my boyfriend to you. <laughs> it makes sense. It makes yeah. sense. It's, it, yeah. it's great. And, um I guess, uh, you know, you must have had some incredible challenges that you had to overcome to be where you are. Exactly. Well, absolutely. And, and, and also through my own, you know, journey of relationships with men, um, it, there's been so much growth for me. And uh, I guess to, I, I guess when I look back, if I knew back then, um, maybe my relationships obviously would have ended differently, <laughs> so to speak. But, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's definitely definitely been really great. And, of course, with my coaching, I do also use other modalities. It's not just straight coaching, as you know. So, um, mm. I... Well, yeah, hypnotherapy. We were having a chat before about 
uh, me volunteering to bring uh, a challenge to you in the area of hypnotherapy and have you trans me out and do a number on me and we'll, we'll record that and we'll uh, put that in another video so that people can actually see you work in uh, motion and get an outcome for me. And uh, yeah, we, we've got some time to sort that out. Yeah. I, uh, I love the work that you do, Stefania. And um, I think that so many men out there are afraid to reach out for help or they go to the wrong places and the wrong people for help. And I know that when I went through a very challenging time in my second marriage breakdown, I was speaking to men counselors and they gave me the most horrible, terrible advice. And thank God I had the maturity and wisdom not to take it. So the outcome for me in that was that I was able to maintain a healthy, uh, respectful uh, bow out of a relationship and still friends with my ex-wife to this day and no respect or, or love was lost. It was just a change. But had I listened to the idiots, and that's what I'd call them, uh, their advice would have just catapulted me into further pain and further uh, messes that I would have had to untangle. One guy I did go to who was a hairdresser, uh -huh. he, said, he said to me, be like Buddha, and just let it all flow around you. And to this day, I'm so grateful for that advice from him. But he, he was a hairdresser. Wow. So, yeah, because we're, I, I, you know, not because, you know, I was a hairdresser. I still do hair now just for loved ones. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, hairdressers are special, not because I've been a hairdresser, like, um, or I'm a hairdresser, we have a, a, an understanding. It's just something that we, it's innate, innate, it's in us. We're able to create, make them feel good on the outside, but we're also making them feel on the, good on the inside because we're great listeners. And mm. I think, you know, being a great listener is so, so important. So, so important. So, well, yeah. yeah. But I, every coach and every counsellor, need someone to debrief and they've got their issues they need to talk to someone and one of my shrinks is my daughter and <laughs> she's a hairdresser <laughs> and she tells me how it is and uh you know she's been a great help and she she's had her own trials and tribulations and difficulties in relationships too but um it, it's really great great to see that the path you uh you're on and um i've watched a lot of your videos from the gentleman's square and i've got some great tips in there, especially uh, about, uh, I think I was talking to you before about um, one of the qualities from your last video or your, your most recent one about a man honouring his word that really rung true for me that uh, it's so important that a woman can have confidence so much that you honour your word that if ever you have to disappoint her once or twice, it's not a trend and she will trust you because you, you've you built it on it by honouring your word. That's something that I'd like you to speak to. Yeah, absolutely. I That's in my last video, the five traits um, that women, personality traits that women find irresistible, desirable and sexy. And one of them is that honoring your word, being a man of your word. Because gentlemen, I can't stress, you know, strong enough that honoring and keeping your word is so, so important to a woman. It will display so much about you because there's nothing worse, particularly to a woman, when you promise her something and you don't do it. But so what is even worse is you don't actually um come back to her you kind of like disappear in thin air because this is what i say if you can't do something that's not a problem the problem isn't that you it's not that you can't do it the problem is that you don't actually um express that to the woman you you, you know tell them i'm sorry i can't do it unfortunately something's come up i can't make it i'll make it up to you don't just disappear in thin air because when you actually do come to a woman and actually tell her that you can't honor your word, you can't make it, whatever it is that you've promised, 
she's going to respect you for it even more. And if she if she's a woman that is just focused on you getting it done and, and doesn't and is going to carry on, well, maybe you may need to reconsider, is this the type of woman that you really want in your life? Okay. But if she um, accepts it and on and she's going to respect you for it, well then A, she's a good woman, and B, she's going to respect you more and build that trust in you, which of course our relationships are built all around trust. Trust is everything, isn't it? Trust, loyalty, respect, uh, um, integrity, honesty, they're, they're, they're all characteristics and quality of a good relationship. But it takes a long time, I think, for men to grow up. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're a man, you know, you'll say that. <laughs> it's sad, but, you know, they say, oh, how come she's going out with an older man? And she said, well, she tried all the younger ones and they were still boys. <laughs> yeah. And, it, you know, it's really interesting, you know, men that, you know, have grown, so to speak, they will say stuff like what you just said, you know, where men need to grow up. They take longer to grow up or because they have experienced it. They've gone through it. So they're, they're owning it and realise how important it is how important it is and to really understand and communicate and know that you know relationships are not all smooth sailing no, they no. are up and down you know learning how to set healthy boundaries learning how to listen learning how to communicate and be confident to actually say what it is that you want to say don't be a people pleaser you know a lot of times men um, come to me because they really want that woman and they'll bend over backwards and without setting boundaries you know I'm sorry to say most of the time that woman is going to lose respect for you because she mm. knows she's going to walk all over you I, I guess for me for what I've learned because I have spoken to relationship coaches before and People who are around, I'm very passionate about relationships because I think that's the joy of life. When you think about it, life is about relationship. Everything else is a prop. Yes. All the toys and gadgets and all the achievements and mountain climbing, it's, it's all a prop for relationship. Yeah. You're either having a relationship with yourself or someone else. And the interesting thing about relationship is there's no such thing. It's a nominalisation. You can't put it in a wheelbarrow or chop it up on your plate. <laughs> so what it is, oh, my relationship sucks. Well, what is it? What's sucking in your relationship? Is it the way you're relating or being related to? So I've turned it back into a verb. So nine times out of ten, it, it's a behavioural issue. And I think when you take the path of climbing the mountain of maturity, you're on the road to a good relationship. So I, I, I guess... They're the things that I can see. And I just know that um, it's going to be fun doing the hypnotherapy session with you. And I also uh, look forward to um, uh, seeing what comes of this video because a lot of people are interested in this topic. Yeah. They really are because they're just tired of doing it hard. The 80-20 rule. I mean, I don't mind some conflict as long as the conflict is valuable and leading towards higher outcomes. Bring it on. But 80-20 rule, I want 80% pleasure and 20% challenge because otherwise I'll be bored. Yes. <laughs> but I don't want 80% challenge and 20% pleasure because the pleasure won't be worth it. Yeah, well, most of us don't. But, you know, there are a few of us out there that uh, I guess, you know, some people like that challenge drama, you know, they <laughs> thrive on that drama. But, yeah, the hypnosis is a, a great modality that I use in my sessions uh, with clients uh, simply because it's very um, non-invasive and it really is fast-tracking. It cuts through... Um, as you know, cuts through the analytical mind, you know, the critical mind, and we get straight to the, the, the good part, the subconscious mind. And that's where, you know, a lot of the work is done. And, yeah, the, the results are phenomenal. 
I've, I've had some great results. And, and the fact that it works so well, and I love using it, particularly with men, because as men, you know, a lot of men, some men don't like to talk about things. Um, they want to fix things really quickly. <laughs> Let's face it, men want to fix. Women want to talk and get emotionally involved and, you know, have all this emotional energy around it, whereas men want the problem fixed. And the hypnotherapy is a great modality for that. So, uh, yeah. it's. Well, it, thank you so much for this incredible uh, input. And uh, I, I was speaking to Stefania before and she's got a, a wonderful offer for the people viewing this video and that was that she's offering uh, an insight consult for 30 minutes complimentary in the areas of seeking a healthy relationship or a hypnotherapy session all you have to do to get access to that is contact Stefania through her social media contacts or website and mention this video FKC Health and Stefania will set up that complimentary insight session for you and um, from that you can then evaluate if you're a right fit for each other and want to work further on things so how do people get in touch with you Stefania okay so they can email me direct on info at the gentleman square.com or info at stefania direct or they can access um and text me via messenger i'm on instagram uh, linkedin of course, I'm on YouTube. And also for the men out there, I do have uh, a men's group, Rock Solid Relationships for Men, just for men. So sorry, ladies, but it is a safe place where men can actually come together, share, get the support. There'll be some lives, um, some shows that I'll probably be having some guest speakers just some interactive yeah just where men can actually come together and and really share and also i i've also got an ebook they can uh download for free mm -hmm. which may interest some of you five ways to make juicier connections with a woman i'll be on to that after this <laughs> so i'll give you the link for that yeah mm -hmm. so it's a it's a free uh, download ebook. Uh, so, you know, five ways to make juicier connections with a woman. Yes. All Stefania's uh, social media contacts and bio will be in the footnotes of this video. Um, if you've enjoyed this and would like to see more interviews and other episodes of FKC Health, please subscribe and remember to hit the notification bell. And Stefania, thank you so much for your precious and valuable time. And guys, uh, hit this woman up for some advice. Uh, I, I can see already from uh, knowing her uh, through the connection that we made, I've already learned some valuable tips on how my life can go smoother and easier when it comes to the opposite sex. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Fred. Absolute pleasure, Stefania. I look forward to our hypnotherapy session. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.